Hello YouTube, it is Chris here, and what you see before you, as always, is a lot of EDC. Now stick with me as I go over my EDC update. In today's episode, we are going over my end of year for 2015 EDC update. I wasn't really sure if I was going to do an EDC update, but there was enough gear that rotated in and out and a lot of new stuff came in that I really felt it was necessary to get it out right before the holidays. Now, starting with the back row, we've got my EDC paracord bracelets. Um, most of them have whistle buckles or fire steel whistle buckles on them. Uh, due to the fact that it's never a bad idea to have a kind of a microscopic survival kit with you, something useful that you can use if you ever get into an emergency. And honestly, all in all, even if you don't care about all that, I just love the way they look. I like having fun making the different styles. Um, these are all stuff that I've made myself. Now, real quick before I go any further, I have a very special announcement that I'm going to make to you guys a little bit later in this video. And I'm not telling you where it's at, but to stay tuned and pay attention because it's really, really excited. And it may or may not have to do with something called a holiday giveaway. So pay attention. <laughs> okay. Now, wallets. They carry your cards, carry your money, your IDs, all that good stuff. Um, these two you guys have seen before. These are my uh, recycled firefighter wallets. I really like them. They hold all your cards and your, um, your cash with you very well with the nice um, elastic pocket strap. They're really nice and lightweight. They're not very expensive. You can get them for like 20, 25 bucks. Um, I'll put a link to his website in the description box below. Now, oh, I'll jump to this one. Now, you guys know this is definitely no stranger to my channel. This is a custom Spartan leather wallet from McGregor Customs. I'm going to put the link to his website in the description box below. I love his stuff. He does custom orders. Now, due to the fact that he, he is so popular on social media and online, it does take a while sometimes, so don't be impatient. And these are definitely not cheap wallets. Uh, this one is around $95, I believe. But to get something very personal and very unique and customized just for you the way you want it, I definitely say having the handmade time quality stuff, it's just worth it. So um, if that's something that's up your avenue, definitely um, check that out. Now, Kydex. Kydex was not something that I really looked for, um, looked to as a wallet um, material. However, over the past year of being able to um, EDC and test out um, this carbon fiber print Kydex wallet from Armitage Carry, I really started to enjoy the concept of Kydex, which is going to segue me into this next bit of gear. Now, these two pieces are a set that come from a company called Cobra Kydex Gear. Sorry, let me push this back in. Um, this is their uh, key organizer and their EDC wallet. comes with an um, attachable pocket clip, which I think is very cool. But um, this is really, really cool. This is kind of give you guys a small gift idea. Um, this set right here costs about 45 bucks. It's awesome. Um, really slim EDC design. It's about 50 to 60% thinner than most trifold and bifold wallets, and it holds everything. I've got every single one of my uh, cards and IDs in here, and it does hold plenty of cash. Um, I never have an issue with that. And this is a really cool alternative to a key holder. It's made of Kydex. Very cleverly thought out, I believe, um, I feel. It's got an attachable pocket clip on you, and it works really, really well. It rides in the pocket nice. It's not too thick to where it's too annoying. And right off the bat, the way it comes, it does hold, um, you can hold up to six keys with no problem. You can probably fit more if you remove the spacers with no problem. But um, I really like that uh, very thought out design he had. And this little gizmo right here, um, if anybody's wondering, it is my in charge um, USB charge port, um, USB charger for my phone. It's an emergency charger. If I don't have my big uh, cord with me and it's magnetic, it's pretty cool. Um, but it's a nice short little cable that I can um, use just to hook up to my smartphone and my car. Or if I'm out somewhere, or if I need to hook it up to a laptop, and, you know, anywhere in an emergency on the go and I don't want to carry a bulky thing, it's just good to have it in case I forget it. If I've got a way to plug it into a device somewhere, I'm good to go. 
All right, guys. This is my watch. Tell the time. I love it. Next, I got my EDC flashlights. These are my top favorite flashlights. Uh, you guys have seen these before. This is the Thrunite T10T. And no, it did not fry the circuitry when I anodized it because it's the fact that it's water resistant. So what I did is I took the battery out and electro anodized it. You do not want to take a torch when you're anodizing a flashlight because you will fry the circuitry because it cannot take those extreme temperatures. But electro anodizing, it can handle. And finally, definitely this cool little bugger is the TIE 3 flashlight. I like using this because I can literally just slap this down in my pocket and forget about it. Sorry guys, I had to do a little readjusting. There was a lot of stuff on the table. Okay, next, chapstick. It's winter time. It's cold. There's a lot of high wind, drier weather, snow, um, the freezing temperatures, no matter where, pretty much no matter where you are. Now, I'm very fortunate so far being here in San Antonio, Texas. I am not having a huge issue of freezing to death. I think um, the coldest temperature we hit, we hit like 36, like randomly in the middle of the night once, but on average, like 50 to 60 degrees and sunny, so the weather isn't too bad. However, um, like I said, guys, utter stick. This is my bovine nipple butter. That's, yeah, that's kind of was weird. It's what it's for. Um, it was like originally designed to be used for uh, cows, but um, hey, it works. I really like it and it helps. Um, I even like it better than all of these pretty much combined. Um, better than some stuff from Skull and Hagwood, Beeswax, Burt Bees, I mean, and Chapstick. And some of the stuff is medicated and it's, it's a little cheaper. I get more out of it. I just like it. It just makes sense to me. All right, next up, we are going to go to fire starting our lighters. Um, this is my plasmatic lighter. This is not the plasmatic X. Um, I like the Zippo style. I've noticed I like the Zippo style a little bit more. I like the fact that I can insert it with any design, even if I decide to go custom. But this is my Merc ladder, and I just like it. I get a lot of uses out of it. It lasts a really long time, and I've never had a single problem with it. So... Um, it's just a really good use. But what I do as a backup, I do carry all of this um, on this section of it. I do keep um, a disposable Bic lighter with me at all times. And due to the fact that it's winter and the temperatures are a lot colder, um, I do keep a small little cube of wet fire with me just in case. Now, I know that in my vehicle, I have a, um, like a glove box survival kit and I have a get home bag in the trunk, stuff like that. However, you just don't know when you're going to need to do something or need to kind of wait it out for an evening and you need a way to start a fire. So as paranoid as that might sound, because I'm not always in San Antonio, I do kind of venture out in the boondocks every now and then. So for me, it just makes sense just to have it just in case. Next up, this is a pen. It's a 308 bullet pen. It's my favorite. It's definitely not a stranger on my channel either or on my Instagram. Uh, I love this pen. It writes really, really well, really smooth. Um, this one came from Hollow Point Designs. Just it's just really classy, and I love how smooth the um, the pin is. It is technically refillable. I just haven't had to. I've had it for about a year. Uh, I use it whenever I need to um, fill out um, any packages for my business and everything. I've still never had. It's never run out. So keeping my fingers crossed that it lasts throughout the Christmas. But uh, who knows? Anyway, let's move on. Spikes, yes, this one comes from O3 Metalworks. This is a D2 titanium, uh, D2 titanium, D2 tool steel. I was uh, ranting about something else uh, earlier today. Um, D2 tool steel, and um, it's just really fun. Um, I do EDC this because the point actually isn't very sharp, but it will be an effective glass breaker if you need it to be. And I don't carry it very often because it it's obviously, it's obvious to tell what it is, but um, as an alternative, I carry these a little more often. These are my tack markers from a company called The Permanent Mark. These are emergency glass breakers. Um, I have any variation. It depends on what I EDC that day as to why I carry what I carry. But um, there's the mini one, and that one, the points are very, very sharp on these. Then I have my little tactical blacked out one that's um, been coated. And then I've got my extra long spiked one so I can really get in there and punch really hard if I need to um, break glass or, you know, escape from somewhere that I need to uh, get out of. I mean, it's an emergency glass breaker. I don't keep it necessarily as a self-defense weapon. I'm sure you could use it if you needed to, but I really wouldn't want to be that guy that has to explain that. 
All right, last but not least, my knives and multi-tools. Um, yes, okay, so I don't know if I would classify this as a multi-tool, but it does have several different types of blades. I EDC'd it for giggles once uh, to kind of see, uh, once or twice to see if I liked it, and I did. Because it's really, really super cheap. If you can't afford or choose not to afford, either way, even to spend the $15 it takes to get a Gerber dime, or $30 to $40 to get a Leatherman uh, Sidekick or a Fieldmaster, you can spend like $4 and get one of these. This is from UST or Ultimate Survival Technologies. Um, pretty much Walmart. Uh, well, Walmart now. It's got a functional razor blade on it. It is pretty darn sharp. And it's got a little miniature saw. Now, I wouldn't do anything hardcore with it, but for everyday use, it works. Um, if I want to use it, if I have a lot of packages to open and I don't want to use um, one of my knives, I've got it as a backup. It's really, really, really small and thin. Super cheap, so even if I uh, overuse it and break it, I don't really care. It's four freaking dollars. All right, guys, this is really why most of you watch the video. Probably not everybody, but most of you guys are knife nuts like I am. So these are the everyday carry knives that I carry most often. This is my Mini Attila pocket cleaver. You guys have seen this plenty of times on my channel. It's got a nice razor edge, which is fun. I usually wear it as a neck knife. It's oiled up right now because it's not in the EDC rotation this week. So I have it oiled up for storage because it is a carbon steel blade. As I stated in a previous video, this is my Ariate Horizon C. Has a uh, ball bearing opening flipper system. I love it. And I did give it a spa treatment. I took some multi etch and a lot of high grit sandpaper and I re anodized it. Now there's fingerprints all over it. I apologize. I use my knives a lot. Still, for you new viewers on this video, this is S35VN, very solid lockup, has a really good lockup on it, it's not too early, not too late in my opinion, but um, I did my uh, don't mess with Texas anodizing, <laughs> kind of, um, but um, I really like the spectrum anodizing on it, I think it looks really clean, really fun, and it just, to me, I like it, now when it's all polished up, it looks really, really nice, but um, one of my favorite folders, however, I wouldn't classify this as a hard use folder. Um, in my experience, I have noticed uh, frame locks, liner locks, they just, a lot of them, a lot of knives can't handle hard, 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 hard use. So some of you might ask, well, why did you spend $250 on a knife? Well, make, well, I like the knife. It's still really, really sharp, functions really well. It is pretty tough and it's really solid and it does what a knife is supposed to do. Now, <clears throat> So as far as EDC goes, I don't have an issue carrying it for everyday tasks. But as corny as this might sound, for when things get a little rougher, I hate to be that guy who sounds like he's jumping on a bandwagon, but I'm sure you guys are no stranger to these bad boys. Currently, this is my Cold Steel collection for EDC knives. Um... I actually love Cold Steel for their folders. They have incredible folders. Now, the biggest problem I had with them about a year and a half, year to year and a half ago was their steel. Their steel stunk. Oh, in my opinion. Okay, so it's my opinion. Some people think Aus oh, 8 is great. I don't. I don't like it. It's too soft in my opinion. It doesn't hold an inch forever. It's kind of aggravating. Now, Cold Steel totally revamped and went to American Carpenter Steel, or CTS for you guys. They went with CTS BD1, XHP, and a few other higher grade steels that I'm really glad they went with. A few steels I wish they'd add, but it's okay. They've made tremendous improvements in the folder category, and I am starting to slowly build my collection back up. Now, let's get the redonkulous big one out of the way. This is my Cold Steel Spartan. Um, made from a CTS BD-1, has curvy handles, really, really awesome. It's honestly great. Um, you could use this as a survival folding knife if you needed to. It's big enough to do some hardcore tasks. But as they have proven in numerous videos and how I've seen throughout testing, the triad lock is just ridiculous. 
And for me, this is a $70 knife. Now, in my personal budget, how um, I can handle my finances, a $70 knife isn't a big deal for me. For some people, that may be a huge deal for you. This may be a freaking grail. And that is completely fine. There's no issue with that at all. Maybe something you baby and treasure for the rest of your life. Doesn't mean it's a beater knife that I'm just going to thrash on and not give a crap about. But it's a knife that if I have to use an emergency and thrash on it and beat on it, I'm not going to freak the hell out. And I like the fact that it was budget-friendly for me personally and is hardcore as hell. So there's the Cold Steel Spartan. Sorry for hitting the tripod, guys. Now, this one is no stranger to my channel because this was a YouTube First Look exclusive way back in the day. This was a Blade Show 2014 like special. Um, this was the Recon 1 half serrated um, Tanto edition in XHP. This was like their very first launch into the XHP steel. Um, I was able to get that um, via a friend who went to Blade Show and was able to get it on my behalf, which was tremendous. She's an awesome, awesome friend of mine. Next... This is the Ultimate Hunter, which is an Andrew Dimko and Lim Thompson uh, design collaboration. Very simple. Um, drop point design. It, very effective. Honestly, I like it because it's simple. Um, it's There's not a lot going on. It's not too complicated. Not super ultra mega tactical, but um, it's a long enough blade. It's three and a half inch blade. Really nice, sharp um, factory edge. And something that I really want to hit on, guys, is... Cold Steel's sharpness and toughness out of the box typically is ridiculous. Now, it is, they are production knives, so there can be issues since they are mass produced. So if you do get a, like a rotten egg, just return it and swap it out and you should have no problem. Last but not least is the Cold Steel Code 4. Now, I had this knife previously and I had a Recon 1. But I didn't like the steel, like I stated before. The steel drove me insane. The OS 8, I was, you know, having issues with the tip eventually breaking off through abusive hard use testing. Not everyday stuff. I couldn't do anything to them. But I just wanted a better steel. I have I appreciate higher grade steels, and the fact that they made the move into them is just amazing. <laughs> well, not to give you guys too much of a, a reason to uh, get bored with this video. For those of you who are wondering what I carry, where am I carrying with me? Like now, today, this week, this is it. This is what I have on me. Now, to some of you guys think that's a lot of gear. Well, to me, it's really not that bad. I'm, it's, this is normal for me, so I've kind of gotten used to it. Now, watch. Wallet, key holder. I'm having a lot of fun. There's going to be separate reviews, individual reviews on the Cobra Kydex gear uh, wallet and key organizer here in the very near future. I have nothing but positive things to say about them. I really like them. And what I'm really excited about, though, is I got this, this kit that I got. It's 45 bucks, 45 freaking dollars for both of them. And it was awesome because I was able to, it's hard to be able to get these cool, slim EDC stuff and get a whole kit like this for that cheap. It's really, really nice. So I'm going to slide that over. Tech markers, flashlights, all this yummy stuff. Yes, all this Gerber dime, my cell phone, so I can call people. This is my uh, pretty much my favorite design for paracord um, that I've done so far. It's really, really interesting. It's a lot different than the most people's um, typical Cobra Weave or like a Tank Tracks design. It's just very different, and I kind of have a lot of fun with it. Now, why am I carrying these two over all the other knives? Well, they're new, so I want to see how they operate and they perform. However, they're pretty freaking lightweight. Um, this one is not very heavy at all. I do notice it in the pocket, but, I mean, after walking around for five minutes, it completely disappears. Now, this bad daddy, on the other hand, is super lightweight. It's like 4.2 ounces. It's extremely, extremely thin and extremely lightweight. Look how thin that is. It's just a just a fraction over a quarter of an inch thick. It's 0 0.30 um, inches thick, not including the pocket clip. That's very, very thin, but don't be fooled. This bad boy is razor sharp and very, 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 very strong. Um, right out of the box, this thing slices like a freaking dream. So, I'm sure you guys are wondering what the special announcement I have for you guys is, but that is my EDC. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Now on to my announcement. Okay, everybody. 
This is the announcement. All this crap right here. This is awesome, and you guys need to get freaking excited because I haven't done this in a while. But I know that my faithful subscribers who have been with me for the long haul know exactly what I'm about to do. Just in time for Christmas this year, I am going to be doing a giveaway. One lucky winner is going to be getting all of this gear. First up, we have the Thrunite TH10 headlamp, a very high powered, awesome outdoor tool. We have the SCHF28, big, huge, awesome Schrade production chopping knife, very big, beastie blade. This is the Schrade SCHF38, a nice, good, mid to large size knife, ready to rock. And this bad boy right here. This is a new design coming straight from my company because I think I'd be a little bit of a douchebag if I didn't give you guys something that came from me. This is my Kiridashi design and oh my gosh, this thing is brutal. It is sharp, a nice little shop knife for you guys to have. Cool little EDC blade. Um, there's no Kydex sheath for it or anything. There's no sheath for it or anything. Um, you guys are going to have to make do. It's a prototype. It's just brand new. It's like literally the very first one that I ever made um, for a Kiridashi. So you're welcome. It's my first one. Now, I have the Chainmate Survival Chainsaw. So there's the outdoor gear right there. And then this is all the EDC stuff. I have my Brimit, um, my DFS Blade Works Brimit hat clip from Brimit Tools here in Texas. These guys are awesome, nice piece of swag. Um, little morale um, koozie, beer koozie, and um, a bracelet. This is the Plasmatic X USB rechargeable lighter. Freaking awesome lighter, I love it. Now, Cobra Kydex gear was so awesome when I told them what I wanted to do for the holiday season. They went ahead and sent me one of their Kydex wallets for you guys to have, which is freaking awesome. Um, it's totally production it's um the retail packaging it's exactly how it comes when you get it in the mail and then i have a straight multi-tool is a titanium multi-tool that i got last year but i didn't really use it very much however i cleaned it up i re-stone washed it for you guys resharpened the um the little blade on it and i anodized it for you so it's brand freaking new ready to go and then that uh that cool little in charge uh usb charge part that i told you guys about i'm giving you guys Three of those. Um, two of them will be for Apple devices, and one will be for Galaxy, if you have a Galaxy device. So it doesn't matter what smartphone device you have, whether you have micro USB or um, an Apple device, you are good to go. I didn't try, I tried not to leave anybody out. But get excited about this stuff, guys. This is awesome. The giveaway is going to be next week. So what I need you guys to do is when you watch this video, let all your friends know on social media, wherever you have them. I don't care where you have them. Just let everybody know it's coming because this is going to be on fire. And I want to let you guys know because it's starting next week. So let's get this moving because it's going to be epic. But that's it for now. I'm out. <laughs>